And our other top story tonight is a preview of high school football and the game with a lot of weight behind it. Kickoff only two hours away for the Riverside versus Medical Lake game. Those teams representing the two communities that just one month ago experienced devastating wildfires. And between the two fires, 21,000 acres burned, hundreds of homes were destroyed along with other buildings, and two people died. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now live from the tailgate ahead of the game tonight. Amanda? Stand by. Yes, well, tonight is Riverside High School's homecoming game against Medical Lake High School. Just outside the stadium, we have some tailgate activities starting to form here. There's going to be a cornhole tournament. And then you can see behind me, the Booster Club is selling some sweatshirts and T-shirts. Now, as exciting as this game is going to be tonight, tonight is more than just about the game. It's about two communities, two teams coming together with a unique connection. The Gray and Oregon Road fires in Spokane County turned the world upside down for the surrounding communities. But tonight, those families can find some sense of normalcy under the Friday night lights. Football is just a perfect place to bring everyone together and kind of unite and heal. Senior Cooper Eagle plays for the Riverside Rams. <laughs> Two and one right now, so I'm just hoping to keep that going. The Oregon Road fire forced his family to evacuate. They returned to their home still standing, but that wasn't the case for many of his classmates. Quite a few kids at the school that, yeah, just have to start all over and just lost everything. So it's, it's really sad. Tonight's Riverside homecoming game will be a welcome distraction from weeks of heartbreak. He says it's an unspoken connection shared with the opposing team, Medical Lake High School. I think we've both obviously had very similar circumstances the last couple of weeks, so I think it, it could just be a powerful game and we can really like just connect through that and kind of unite even though we're opponents. He expects both teams will give a good fight, but still acknowledging a sense of camaraderie. Definitely after, it's just, it's all love, like you just feel for each other. It will take time to heal from these wildfires, but in the meantime, these Friday night lights will help these communities begin healing together. Now, as I mentioned, the Booster Club behind me is selling sweatshirts, but they're also selling these t-shirts. They say rise as one. Now sales for these t-shirts will go to the Elk Community Wildfire Fund. Reporting in Chatteroy tonight, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.